That's right, and this really could have happened to any of us. This family was enjoying a night out when out of the blue, something strange happened. I was actually writing the tip, getting ready to sign it and everything. And the guy comes up to me and he's like, hey man, he's like, I'm really sorry about them taking so long. This man, who didn't want to share his identity, was out to dinner at Dave & Buster's with his family when a stranger, posing as a restaurant manager, approached his table as he was signing for the bill. The man apologized for the poor restaurant service. He's like, listen, he's like, I'll give you this. He's like, there's $30 on here. He's like, you guys go use this. He says, $30 on here. He's like, and I'll take 50% off your bill. The stranger was a slick talker, convincing the man he was working to improve Dave & Buster's customer service. All he'd need was his credit card to take 50% off the bill. Well, he agreed and waited. And then at 9.22, it was, what, 11 minutes later, I, I get a text saying, uh, I just spent $105.95 at Speedway. As soon as I seen that, yeah. I was like, he got me. He got me. Like, I, I fell for it. Like, he totally conned me. His bank texts him whenever his card makes a transaction, notifying him the crook made off with his card. Here, he can be seen strolling into a nearby Speedway, stolen credit card in hand. You have to always go by the adage that if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Westlake police say the con artist attempted to purchase another $800 worth of gift cards, but that purchase was denied. It's very gutsy because it's a face-to-face, -face and if someone calls you on it, now what do you do? No indication that this guy has hit any other local businesses, but he clearly has had some practice. If you have any information that may lead to an arrest, Call the West, Westlake Police Department. Reporting live in Westlake tonight, I'm James Girardi, News 5.